All right, guys, we are here doing a basically a, you know, what I mean, car reveal. I know most of these cars people already know about, but since my one of my favorite cars is in this set, um, I had to do a, a review on the card selection that they have revealed so far for the first set of G. Um, you'll know who, the, who I'm talking about at the end of the video. I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be like the last card or whatever, but um, I wanted to go over some of these cars. G is definitely going to be like a really nice addition to the set most of most people especially like me started vanguard ng because of the um because i think uh like break ride and legion were like really really came out like 2014 and 15 and stuff like that and people really didn't know about vanguard like that until around 2016 or end of 15. um i ain't found out about it until 2016 like i said when g was playing around and actually um, the Overlord deck was one of my first decks I ever played in um, in Vanguard. I liked the art. I fell in love with the art very quickly because it was just so amazing. The detail the artist put in the art is just so amazing. I've never seen better art in a card game ever. So we're going to go over some of these cards. You got some new stuff going on with G. They implemented um, zero trick, um, gray zeros, so basically triggers. And what most of these triggers actually do, they're like, some of them are like, dual triggers so like you might have a crit that ha because the zero the gray zero triggers they have to be um they have to be whatever trigger they show on their thing so if you want to play these gray zeros they have to be those triggers and you have to play those triggers um they also take spots from the grade threes so which isn't too much of a problem um you know i mean drawing grade three too many grade threes you know what i mean wasn't didn't really matter and I think these have some alternate skills where you can like guard with them or whatever, um, like 15k power. Some of them have, but um, it really didn't matter because most decks only play seven to eight grade threes in their deck. So, um, so you can, you're allowed 13 triggers. Um, if eight spots are grade threes, then you know what I mean the rest of the spots, the other five, I think, the other five is going to be these grade zeros, depending on how you want to do your things like some decks like Royal Paladins that have Gans a lot will still want to play those grade threes in their deck to be able to just keep putting their heal triggers back. But we do have new heal triggers that do things a little bit differently. So it, it's, it's going to be a player's preference on how decks are built. It's definitely super exciting to see. Um, I'm a global player, so we won't see this for another two months. Fingers crossed two months. It might just be three months. They might still continue with the three month thing like they did, like they did, um, JP giving them an off month, but they might just lower the gap on how how far G I mean JP is from us by taking this filler set and I mean filler month and um, just releasing G to us just like that. So it's definitely fun. A lot of decks um, get really nice support in G and get a really really good boost. Um, it's just some clans like Liberators and. Um, Bluish Flames in general, um, and what is it, Brawlers? They might get like one stride, but they don't really make an impact in the meta. Um, their their time falls, um, like probably around set four or set five of G. Um, to be honest, the first the first one, two, and three sets, um, the first one or two sets of G doesn't really make too much of an impact. Um, the Legion decks are still the best decks in the format. Uh, Brawlers are still good, best. Uh, Revengers are still the best, and um, and then Kagro, since the cross has been released, is being released is still going to be the best, absolutely. Um, which having the most the multi attack and the restand, I mean the multi attack and then the retire. So it's definitely, definitely, definitely Legion decks are still going to be prominent all the way to probably about set three of G. Um, you know, I mean Royals are promising. Gear Chronicles are okay. A good tier two deck probably. Um just haven't released all the other cards, so we don't really know the, <laughs> the extent of how the cards are gonna be played. But it's just my premonition on I mean not my premonition, but my opinion on how or how many what the cards I've read, which we won't go over in, in in a minute. Um but you know, Revengers get a new new cards, they get a trial deck with with really good cards that make them back to tier one after they fall off probably about set four or set five or whatever however they plan on implementing these trial decks or legend decks is um definitely going to be pretty exciting also because 
they have an Overlord League Legend Dex that um, I'm pretty excited to see also. And yeah, so let's just go over the cards now and see what um, what most of these cards do. I've already read a good amount of them, but um, some I haven't read. So we have the Encouraged Angel, which is uh, one of those gray zeros that have to be the, whatever trigger they show. So it's just a stand. It also has the skill um, Rigor Circle Generation Break 1. When placed, return this unit from your return this unit to your deck to give two of your units plus three K. So okay skill, generation break one. Generation break is basically um, how many face up stride units you have in your G zone. And it counts the Vanguard as one also. So yeah. And then most most uh, G units when they use their skills they flip up one. So you're automatically in G break one G break two. Um, on your first stride. So yeah, so this gives two plus three K to two rear guards. It's on play, so it's okay, but it allows it to go back in deck so it can be a trigger again. Um, it doesn't have the dual trigger like most of them, like some of them have, so let's keep reading. All right, we have the Starlight Viol Violinist, which is this is one of the, like, the um, hot cards going on right now, which allows you to get like a good about multi-attack. So when play, Soul Blast 1, Counter Blast 1, to call a grade two from your deck of this um, Starlight Bellinus. So it's a nice little combo with the Stry unit um, that we're about to read again later. Um, so you can get a good amount of multi attack. It is an AK, but you know what I mean? The one thing about Alt Mile, it definitely boosts their units very easily. They have a lot of skills that boost you, their units. All right, so you have Knight of Fragment, another grade two double rare. Uh, generation break one during your turn. If you have two or more grade two rear guards, this unit gets plus 2k. And the following ability when this unit attacks a vanguard, it hits. Uh, soul blast, soul charge one, and counter charge. So this is basically the counter charge. Um, gets plus 2k, so it hits, hits some good hits uh, 11k's without being boosted. So that's pretty nice. And having uh, rear guards with royals isn't really too much of an issue. Um, they don't really do that much call. I think Valence is probably the only one to actually call units um, out from a deck. So that's definitely a thing to keep in mind that they're not really calling that many units. <laughs> All right. The star to show Blue Sky Knight Alt Mile. Generation Break 2. During your turn, all of your front row rear guards get plus 5k. Uh, when your G unit strides, you may call two up to two units from your hand. And, and give two units plus 5k. So you don't have to get the two units that you call from your hand plus two, uh, plus 5k. But you can just choose whatever you have on the board to give plus 5k. So that's pretty nice. Um, allowing like um, violence to hit uh, 13k numbers. Allowing the counter charger to hit uh, a 14k number. So pretty nice. And plus another 2k that he gets from his own skill is hitting 16k by itself. So that's extremely nice. Um, really good for your multi attacks. In addition, you may put a grade two from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck. So, you know, what I mean, putting your grade twos back in deck so you can call them out is definitely nice. And then on place gets plus 3k. I don't understand why I did that. What was the purpose of that? I guess they want to try something new. But I think all these uh, generation break cards, the uh, stride grade threes, are have that skill. So it's definitely, definitely nice. So go on to the first uh, triple rare stride. It's the Shrouded uh, Divine Knight Gal Blade. Gal Blade. Um, stride unit, basically, um, they changed it a little bit. It made it just like Legion. So if you are the first player on you know, fourth turn or more, um, or the second player at third turn or more, you may discard a grade three or equal up to a grade three um, to stride a unit from your stride deck. And then you draw a card, so it, you know, I mean, basically um, adds a card to your hand for not being able to get your drive checks. Um, and then it gets the same thing as your heart card and gains the power also. So um, on stride, strides are, are sorry, <laughs> you can't even see it. All right, so yeah, so strides are plus um, or 26k power um, starting off, so definitely a good. A good little thing there so you know I mean the power of scales are really really high when G comes out that's why I'm glad they gave us better uh, better guarding mechanic another guard mechanic um, when this unit attacks hits a vanguard 
call a grade two or greater from your deck. So this is the card I was talking about that allows you to get like nice multi attacks. So what you basically do is you have this card um, hit. Um, you have your two grade two swing at your rear guards. They're swinging with nice numbers or whatever. Then you have this guy swing at your vanguard. Um, hits, no counter blast, no cost. Call a violinist from your deck. Then violinist calls another grade two from your deck. So you have two more columns to swing at your vanguard. Hitting really nice numbers because um, you get power. So super, super nice. Oh, okay, so this is actually a GR. So Shroud is actually a GR. And then um, the Holy Knight Saint Bow Dragon is your triple rare. No, this is actually a GR also. Okay, yeah, so these are all both GRs. Um, I don't think they have a, a triple rare Legion for um, Orioles, but let's read his skill. Still the same strategy kill skill, but on Vanguard, when this unit attacks, Persona Blast, basically Persona Flip, flip a face-up copy of himself, face-up, um, to get plus 3k and end the battle for each rear guard. For each of your rear guards, if you if your G zone is two or more, so generation break um two, face up on the field, um face up, this unit gets plus um gets a crit until the end of battle, and all your rear guards, grade two rear guards, get the following ability. Um, this unit cannot be retired during your opponent's card. I mean, during your by your opponent's card face, so they get resist. Um, they get resist, and he swings with a crit. Um, for his skill, so that's pretty nice being able to protect your grade twos because they are Kagro is coming in hot, you know, uh, Gear Crown is coming in hot, taking out intercepts. So, you know, what I mean, and it says, uh, cannot be retired. So, Gear Crown still gets, gets in there and takes out intercepts, but Kagro might have an issue. But I think, yeah, and, and, it, and it even bypasses um, Roof Flare also. That's crazy because Root Flare was a really good card to get past Resist, and this says you just can't retire him at all. That's pretty nice. All right, so another a good a Kagro Grade Zero. We're going to the Kagros. So Kagro Grade Zero is Lizard Soldier Virer. Um, is a stand trigger 4K generation break one when this when one of your opponent's rear guards is retired by effect. Uh, return this unit to the top of your deck and to have one of your opponents. One of your rear guards get plus, one of your units get plus 10k. So that's a pretty good card. Um, nice stand. I don't know how effective that guy would be, but um, nice skill. Nice, nice. Gigantic Blade Master. Generation break two during your turn. If you have more rear guards than your opponent, this unit gets plus 5k and a crit. When this un when your G unit strides, Kind of blast one to retire one of your opponent's rear guards. So, and then he gets on place, gets plus 3k. So, it's this is a nice little skill. Like, so you basically, when you stride, um, you basically count blast one to retire a front row rear guard, taking out an intercept. So, super nice. That's a really good skill. And then, if you stay on Blade Master without striding, you get plus three, plus 5k and a crit if you have more rear guards than your opponent. So, nice, nice. And the main. The main guy of the show, Gigantic Overlord the Cross. This is my man's. This is the first. Um, this is the first unit I played in Vanguard. I played the Cross Legion, which during G, it was super amazing, super fun. Still a top contender, definitely. You know, what I mean, getting in nice wins. So his skill is literally unchained. He legions with the uh, Gigantic Overlord the N. And he has the Legion skill. When Legion, add one of your, one of the, um, basically, um, add one of your Persona Blasts to your hand. Either the uh, Dragonic Oval at the end or the Dragonic Oval at the cross. Um, super nice. During the, t during the TCG, um, it was super nice. So you will be able to search your Persona Blast. Whichever one you searched, your opponent knew that you had that one. But they didn't know fairly if you had the other one. So it was a, it was a cat and mouse game. So if either it lets you hit and you restand with Dope. Well, they don't let you hit, and then you retire two rear guards for Camel Blast 1. So it's super nice. Um, it's definitely going to be fun. Um, I, I can't wait to see how people splash these cards into other decks. It's going to be really nice. At the end of the battle, this unit attacks. If the attack did not hit during the battle, Camel Blast 1, Persona Blast, and retire two rear guards. 
super nice. You're not going to be retiring intercepts. You're probably going to be retiring boosters in the back row. But, you know, I mean, boosters are pretty important in Vanguard Zero because there's power scaling. So, you know, I mean, not a wasted skill. Crown Blast one retire two rear guards is always good. And then one of the good, one of the uh, triple rare, oh, this is the GR rare. One of the GR rares for uh, Kagro Stride is Dragonic, I mean, Divine Dragon Knight uh, Mostafa. I think mean, I call it Mustafa, it's whatever. Um, has the stride skill. Um, his Vanguard skill is Counter Blast 1 and basically Persona Flip to choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire, and then he gets the, uh, then he gets the skill for each of the copy of himself that's face up in the G zone when this unit attack hits Vanguard counter charge. So if you have three face up in the G zone, uh, you can basically counter charge three. Super nice, really, really good skill. He was a really good card in, in TCG. Him and Root Flare definitely put in a lot of work. And then if you size up a Blade Master, you're basically taking out two intercepts for Counter Blast 2. So extremely good, really, really strong. And you know, I mean, people intercepts better beware because this is Kagro is looking really good. All right, and we're going to Gear Chronicle Heart Thump Walk Worker. Now, this is one of the triggers I was talking about that was like a dual trigger. Um, so it's it's a crit trigger uh, that has to be inside the deck. So basically, you have a crit trigger in your deck. Um, when this unit, when your Vanguard attacks, if it's a grade three or greater Chrono Jet, uh, you may put this in your soul and draw a card. If you have your Vanguard. And have your Vanguard get plus 5k. So it's really nice skill. Gets you a draw card if you draw it. Um, and then it also has the skill in Trigger Zone. If you reveal this as a damage check, you draw a card. So it's basically a crit and a draw card at the same time. Really, really good. Definitely um, helps out with people being able to... Um, it really helps Gear Chronicles. Gear Chronicles really doesn't plus very well right now. So not having draws in their decks is, would definitely be tough for them so but this is like a dual trigger so it's extremely nice and then we have also the steam maiden euro um is the heal trigger for gear chronicle uh, when this when your vanguard hits if you would lose um if you do not guard shield this shield gets plus five you get it's a shield 15k power guard activates so basically, this is the new guarding system that I was talking about here to where if you're about to lose, it basically comes in with 15k power and blocks you. And if it's if the if the, if the attack of the rig, whatever is swinging at you is more than 15k, then a second one will trigger also and then or the PG will trigger. So or the PG will trigger and not the the 15k guard. But if it's. um. If you have no PG, but you have two of those in your hand, those both will trigger to protect you from getting hit. And this is one of the cards you get for free. All right, so great one, double rare, Steam Breath Dragon. When placed um, from hand, discard a card from your hand to basically search a grade three Chrono Jet. And then while this is in your hand, you may sh use it as Stride Cloth plus 2K. 2K. So this is one of the this is one of the new gray one units that's going to be mandatory in every stride deck, um, as is PGs. So you're going to be playing four of this and four PGs. This is basically stride fodder, what we call it. So it basically counts as one grade three, um, so you can be able to stride. And then you know, I mean, you had to add that effect of uh, being able to search uh, Chrono Jet if you don't have it by discarding a card from your hand. It used to say you had to discard a grade three, but now just discard one card. So it's a lot better now so that's pretty nice and then you also have steam made in uh is hin is hin is hein uh generation break one once per turn when your opponent's rear guard is put um into a deck by your effect count blast one use the following get the following ability to the end turn when this unit attacks a vanguard your opponent cannot guard with grade zeros until the end of battle so guard restrict pretty nice you know what i mean if you this is where, you know what I mean, it comes into the situation where you got to, you know what I mean, pay attention to what cards you're guarding with. You really don't get to choose, but, you know what I mean, you just you just got to worry about which cards you have in your deck and which cards you need to have to be able to guard some of these stuff because this is definitely a good skill. Definitely you're going to need a PG to be able to guard. With Gear Chronicle playing crits, it's definitely going to be tough. 
All right, and this is Steam Knight uh, Pazrel Ill. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> These names are crazy. I'm going to let you see it. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard only on rearguard circles, Soul Blast 1 to prevent your opponent from guarding with great zeros until the end of battle. So more guard restrict. Pretty strong, pretty strong. But like I said, there's no plus in this deck, so you definitely got to manage your resources very well. I think this is one of the Legion's um, Legion mates. All right, Star of the Show. Chrono Jet Dragon, Generation Break 2. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, this unit gets plus 5k until the end of battle, and your opponent must discard a grade 3 or greater at random from their hand to be able to Sentinel um, during this battle. And if they do not, this, you, they cannot Sentinel. So basically a glory skill. Um, it definitely becomes a lot better skill when the next stage comes out. It probably won't be out till about set 3 or whatever. But it definitely gets better because, you know I mean, next stage there's a time leap into Chrono Jet, so it's pretty strong. Right now it ain't that great, but it might be effective in zero since, you, you know what I mean, you guarantee swings and hits and stuff. Um, it definitely would definitely help because um, it looks like if you run out of strides or you don't want to strive and your opponent's at one and you feel like they won't have a great three in their hand, if they have a hell of PGs, you can swing with your Vanguard and, you know what I mean, deny that PG. And it also has a skill to uh, win this unit strides, count blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and put it back to the bottom of the deck. So uh, another uh, kind of mechanic that Gear Chronicle has, besides the time leap, is the um, instead of retiring like Kagro does or binding like other decks do, um, what Gear Chronicle does is actually swing, um, knock cards back to the deck. That's how you retire. Um, and that's their gimmick with time leap. So definitely, definitely a good skill. All those cards that have resist that say, hey, you can't be retired. Gear Chronicle don't care. They're going to pop it back to deck with no no issue. So starters beware. Resist does not protect you anymore. And then on place gets plus 3k. And then here's a stride. Ruin Disposal Dragon. One of the legions for Gear Chronicle. It uh, legions with Steam Knight uh, Pirelli. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> When you Legion, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it to the bottom of the deck. So basically, you spin it back to the deck. And when this unit attacks the Vanguard, kind of blast one, get plus 2k to the end of battle, and choose one of your opponent's gray ones or less and put it to the bottom of the deck. So basically, being able to swing, snap, take out two rear guards from your opponent. And this is on Legion, so you can't use this multiple times, but you can use this multiple times when you attack. So that's pretty nice. All right, uh, the first, this is actually a GR um, for Gear Chronicle, in the, in, Interdimensional Dragon, Ragnarok Dragon. Um, a pretty good stride, has a stride skill, and I mean, Scott has the stride conditions, and then when this, on Vanguard, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, kind of by swarm, press on the flip, um, a Interdimensional Dragon, Ragnarok Dragon. Uh, from your G-Zone face up to prevent your opponent from guarding with gray zeros until the end of battle. In addition, if your G-Zone has two or more, so G-Break 2, um, this card gets a crit and to the end of battle. And choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it to the bottom of the deck. Super, super strong. A really good stride. You know what I mean? Has that, that guard restrict. I guess they got all the Gear Chronicle cards doing this guard restrict with zeros, but not great ones, so keep that in mind. And then we don't have a picture, but we have Interdimensional Dragon, Fate Ride Dragon. Um, another GR for Gear Chronicle. Um, it has the skill, no cost, um, once per turn. Put one of your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck. And call a card with the, uh, call a card with that unit's grade plus one from your deck. Choose one of your rear units. And for each face-up card in your G zone, that gets plus 3K. So. Here comes some a little bit of the time leaps things happening, but it's only on one card. You're probably gonna play, you know. What I mean, I really don't know ratios of Gear Chronicle. Um, I really didn't play it in in G. Um, I played against it a little bit, but like I said, it wasn't that great um, during the TCG. So people played just still played um, Limit Break Limit Break decks, not Limit Break, but Legion decks. All right, and then we have Interdimensional Dragon, Kronos Command Dragon. Um, it still has the scry conditions. When this unit attacks a Vanguard and it hits a Vanguard, Soul Blast 1, Count Blast 2, and put your opponent's rearguard on the bottom of your deck. 
Uh, pretty hefty cost. I really don't think you're going to be playing this one. This is the only triple rare uh, um, stride they have for Gear Chronicle. But, you know, I mean, this is a hefty cost to be to have to hit Soul Blast 2, Count Blast 2 to put all your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of your deck. You're really only going to be doing, like, grade ones because you have to swing at the intercepts already or take out the intercepts with Chrono Jets a skill. So it's really, I don't think it's going to be used, to be honest. And then you have um, you have interdimensional dragon mystery flare dragon um, has the stride same stride skill double rare elite, um, generation double rare stride first one of its kind um, so I definitely would like to see how that crafting mechanic works with that. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard Counter Blast 4, revealed, reveal three cards from the top of your deck. And if you reveal a grade 3 or more different grades, if you reveal three or more different grades, you get uh, an additional turn. And if not, counter charge 4. So this is definitely a crazy skill. Definitely um, a really hard skill to pull off. It's definitely going to be tough. And people are definitely going to be doing a, some kind of meme deck and trying to try this out. But... You know, I mean, it's, like I said, it's difficult, but it might be a little bit easier now that we have grade zeros. So you have to either check a grade zero, grade one, grade two, or grade one, grade two, grade three, or grade three, grade two, grade one. Um, you, this has to be three grades, and you basically skip your opponent's turn. And you get a whole new turn. <laughs> that's going to be so crazy. People are definitely going to be making meme decks with this. But Mystery Flare Dragon, and that's all for Gear Chronicle. Um, and yeah, so those are the cards that are revealed. Um, I only really did the this uh, video just to show off that your boy the cross is coming and it's coming to G. I'm really really excited to see that card. Uh, we have a new set coming out this weekend for Global for set 20. Uh, we also get a get the first Kagura Legion, so it's super super exciting in both parts. And I can't wait to watch some of the um, you know I mean JP players play the decks and see how decks play and how things go. It's definitely going to be super amazing and yeah so that's my um review on the car new cars that are just released um like comment and subscribe um to support the channel i definitely really do appreciate any support check me out on twitch i'm streaming tuesdays thursdays sometimes sundays between from 10 o'clock to whenever time i get tired or people start showing up so come check me out and yeah i'm out peace <laughs>